today today the topic is which we are going to discuss about the the upgrade sap upgrade upgrade upgrading the sap systems normally kernel upgrade we discussed updating the kernels from so os level kernels and uh, normal uh, spam and saint updating the components using the spam and saint that we discussed it so again sap upgrade using some tool using some tool is the one of the tool same as like swpm using this tool we have to perform the upgrade so this is the latest version of the some tools are available when you go every interview any any organization everybody will use the this tool some tool they will use it here for upgrading the scp systems here update means your components update maybe installation you have done two years back one year back then after that there are many changes that happened how to update those things here right so before the upgrade there are the some three steps we need to perform it here in the systems three steps so three steps means in before the upgrade we need to check the our system uh, we need to so push the push the so first of all we need to check the need to check the so system should be up to date up to update system up to date up to date in so uh, in the service marketplace our system should be up to date in the service marketplace here respective component status and everything sir what if, if my system is not up to date here suppose in case in case system is not up to date in case in system is not up to date in case system is not up to date so then we need to we need to push the we need to push the push the systems data system data from your rz72 to, to, to sld solman sld solution manager sld then solution manager sld to lmdb will pick up lmdb to your solution manager will uh, push the solution manager will push the so data to data to your service marketplace service marketplace it will push the data to the service marketplace in the maintenance planner then there is a explore systems there your system data should be up to date here right in case of in the maintenance planner explore systems your system is not up to date here then we need to in case it's not up to date we need to push the data to from as rz72 solution manager sld then lmdb to solman push the to evaluation management so where we have to do the this one right in case of it's not up to date you will get the cross question so we need to check the system should be up to date in the solution ma so service marketplace okay it is not up to date then what we will do then in case we, we need to push the data from so uh, rz72 your system to solution manager sld then lmdb then it automatically will push to the again it will come the up to date here in the service marketplace right so this is the step you need to explain here as part of the preparation steps here so then once it is up to date then calculate the calculate the stack.xml file calculate the stack.xml file for for your upgrade for upgrade for patching or patching or upgrade for a patching or upgrade we need to calculate the stack.xml file we have to calculate it stack.xml file which we have to calculate for the upgrade or patching activities calculate the cs stack.xml file for patching or calculate we have to calculate it here right okay we have to calculate this one here stack.xml file here so then why because for upgrade for upgrade you require the one of the key file is the stack configuration file so this xml file we have to generate what contains in this xml file in this xml file upgrade your systems related information from which patch level to which patch level you are going to update and all the information is located in this upgrade file here right so that's the then then the third point is download the download the all the patches from all the patches all download the all the patches and 
move the patches to the move the patches to application server level application server level we have to do that one so download and move the patches to the application server level so right so then after that normal basic system six next year so which means so once you download it normal six like in sm13 so no failed update records should be exist also in the smq1 or smq2 there are no mc mcex queues for ecc systems you should not be stuck so no entries no failed entries no failed entries here so then sm58 so no failed no failed transactional rfc is transactional rf should be exist here so and so and no open transport request no open transport request here no open transport request here so no inactive objects in scat it should not be anything here so then so then you should check the free space you should have the free space at sap and sap sap level you should have five space at operating os level you should have the free space including db also you should have the free space here then so extract the extract the so latest download the extract the latest version of the sum tool latest version of the sum tool latest version of the sum tool we need to extract it here so these are the mandatory free steps which we have to perform for the upgrade activities mandatory free steps we have to perform for the upgrade activities here right so these are the free steps for before we go for the upgrade these are the mandatory free steps we have to perform the first one is the system should be up to date here so we will check the all the steps now in the here we will check the all the steps here okay let's go to the system like in sm13 there should not be a any failed update record there should not be a any failed update records so no failed update records in smq2 there is there are no so in, there are no mcex queues there are no mcex queues should not be stuck here so nothing is there right sm58 no failed up sm5 no no transactional rfc is failed transactional rfc is here so nothing is there here okay so then sm se80 se80 so no in se80 we should not have any messi 80 no inactive objects there should not be a inactive objects in se 80 here there should not be a inactive objects in se 80 here so you should not be any inactive objects right this one we need to look at out no inactive objects here right inactive what what happens if exist means so in the upgrade it will detect in the upgrade it will detect and it will throw the errors so that is the reason here so we all check this one no nothing is there here space we have the space at operating system level so that is fine we have the space is available at operating system level so that we have fine here right spaces are there here so spaces are there okay spaces are there in the operating system level so that is also fine for here so the next one is the spaces are there so everything is there so fine the next one is the so so calculate the stack dot xml file and downloading the software here is and all the things we have then calculate the stack dot xml file download the all the patches here 
So here need to check the system should be up to date in the service marketplace here that I will show you. This is also I will show you and download the all the patches. Why? Because these three patches we have to do it in the so in the so offline. Offline means without recording, we need to perform these three steps here. Okay. So let me log into the um, service marketplace here. Okay. So let me log into the service marketplace here. So once the calculation of the stack.xml file, downloading the all the patches, all the done here, then we have we can start the SAP upgrade activities, right? So first of all, we need to download the all the patches here. That uh, it will be downloaded. So since uh, we moved to the basket, once we select all and we download it from the download manager, all will be downloaded. Then maybe it will take some time to download it. Then Monday we can start the the next class. We can start the actual upgrade. How to start the upgrade and everything here. But these are the three steps we have to perform for every SAP upgrade, either patch upgrade or release upgrade or SPS upgrade. We need to perform the these steps here. Okay. So these are the things we need to check it out here. Okay. So yes. Any questions, anyone? 